Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900. This is episode 16.3, and the reason why the point three is there is because on episode 14, when I was recording it, we had a power failure. Uh, I'm sure if you've watched episode 14.1, you'll understand why. Uh, um, so I had a power failure while playing, and my game got corrupt and I can't load it, so... I've had a couple of issues since then with the game crashing out, so we're going to try getting 16.3 up and running. We're seven days now into our campaign, um, and I'm, i got a sort of, kind of clear idea where I want to go with this right now. So we're going to quickly jump into a couple of missions today, see if we can knock off two more on this planet before we leave. We're still on our starting planet, Independence. Um, so we're going to go to Contracts today. We've got a One Skull and we've got a Half Skull mission, so we're going to do Last Mix Standing first to get into the swing of things today so it should just be a lance of mechs probably half armor gonna shoot to kill we're gonna move in got lots of money so we are gonna go for full salvage today and we're gonna accept and we're gonna go with our standard lance again and deploy and get this mission done all right here we go jungle map nice all right, so I've played on this map before. Kind of know what's going to go down here. Um, actually, actually, I've not played on this one before. Um, yeah, you know what? I've seen the Edmund play on this map before. So we are gonna go. If you haven't checked out the Edmund, go check his channel out. Uh, e D M O N, and we're gonna move up this way. We're gonna take a different playstyle than he did there. We have different play styles, so. Alright, so let's see here. Those guys are still hanging back there. I want to use this ridge as protection here. Um, so we're going to move up into here. See what we got going on. So now we got contacts. We're going to reserve back, see what they do here. So. As I got to, to episode 13 last time, we had a couple of pan extra Panthers. So we had our Lance with our Vindicator and three Panthers. And I had two of my Panthers um, sort of set up with long range weapons. I think I want to kind of go that road again. However, the difference this time is that um, we need eight mech parts instead of three. So it's a little bit of a different uh, situation. Um, we're going to move down. So they're going to be going before us. So if we're going to move down here, I think we want to probably jump in. We're going to turn our left side, since our main PPC is on the right. And we're going to target the commando. Not bad chances to hit. We're going to fire everything. Engaging yeah, so you know what? This map, I think, if I remember correctly, I had a base mission, I think it was on this map, or a similar map to this one. I was having a problem with the sound on that, and I'm having a problem with the sound here too. So it's not my game, I know it's probably this map or something to do with the jungle terrain, I don't know which one it is, but... Um, so we're going to come down over here, and this is our, what is this, this is the spider. So let's move... Um, gonna save the PPC for last. Yeah, let's move the spider first. We want to strip some more chevrons of evasion off this guy. So we're gonna jump over here. The spider can run a little hot. Not really worried about that. We're gonna fire on this guy. Yeah, so the sound's gonna be wonky, so just forgive that. Okay, so Ripley. We... Oh, sorry, I thought I had jumped there. We're going to jump over the hill here, get some evasion going, and fire straight on this guy with everything. We're going to be massively overheated, but I think we're okay there. We want to try and get an early kill here early as soon as we can. I was going to about to say early on, but an early kill early on is really... <laughs> it's like, yeah, the same thing. Alright, so we're going to move... Where can we go here? We're going to go up on the hill. And we're going to take a hammer to this guy and hopefully kill him. Yeah, not quite. But he's certainly think, thinking second, tw second, having second thoughts about standing out front now. Nope, maybe he's not. Because he's an idiot. Damage 
Okay, now it's time to take advantage of this. So he's got five left in the CT. So Weasel, let's get you... Can we get into cover? We can. And we can spot that guy too, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to move over here. I'm only seeing two chevrons. What do we got here? Another commando. I'm going to fire on this guy. Taking the shot. Yeah. I was hoping to finish him off there. Might just plink him with the SRM4s from uh, Weasel and just cool off. Or I mean from um, Ripley. Alright, a little bit of damage. Not much. Okay, so let's get... Ripley up into the trees. And uh, let's just fire one medium... Uh, actually, let's just fire the SRM-4 on that guy. I think if we connect, we should be able to kill him. Yeah. I know it was kind of a risk there, but really, it's just one pot shot to the center and he's done, so... That's all we really needed. we got a chance to cool off now, too. So let's move... Let me think how I want to do this now. We don't want to get too close... I think we're just going to back up. So we're going to moonwalk back here. We're going to unload on this guy. 50-50 chance to hit. Yeah. Not too bad. And then let's get... Can we get a clean... We can get a shot from here. PPC is really bad chance to hit. Um... Yeah, let's go back here. I prefer being in the trees, but this guy's almost done, and I don't think they have anybody else after this, so... Well, all we needed was the one shot. I think that's it. That's it, folks. Crap, when I spent all that on salvage, too. Frustrating. Alright, well, 18,000 and no damage at all so we're gonna take the two commando parts because we're gonna get the rest anyway yeah so we get everything so we need eight salvage to make one mech which isn't too bad um but th we're gonna take the next mission right away here and just jump right in all right so let's go to the command center have a look at the contracts and we have contested will here that's left this is all that's left um, we're moving against the Torians, so, I, you know, I've never really liked the Torian Concordat, even when I used to play Battletech on the tabletop game, never really liked them, so I don't feel too bad about going after them, but this might be a little bit more of a challenge. Capture base, one, uh, one skull, so let's negotiate. We're going to take full salvage again. Still doing really well with cash, I'm not worried about that. Torian's reputation's dropping, so, eh. Um, we need someone that's going to hate us anyway, so let's uh, accept this. Deploy with the same same uh, group, and let's get this mission done. All right. So my goal in this series um, is I want to get a second lance up and running. I haven't played in this map in a long time. ADD much? Um, I haven't. Uh, I mean, I, I want to get a second lance up and running as soon as possible. Um, I'm thinking that probably the best bet will be uh, if we want to kind of get um, the best kind of score on Flashpoint, the best bet would be to get a second lance up and running as soon as like physically possible. Um, because what I want to do is be running two lances, getting as many missions done as I can, and getting as many mech parts as I can to assemble mechs. Uh, only because since I need eight um, pieces of salvage instead of the normal three um, it's going to mean that we have to, a lot of work to do so if I have a second lance running I wonder if this will be a simple base base capture so if we move in there shouldn't be maybe there's tur oh it looks like there's turrets uh, so once that second lance is up and running we, don't, we can't see the turrets from here so might as well just sprint up Um, once we have the second lance up and running, we'll be able to pull off several missions at a time. Clear out planets as fast as possible. Hopefully assemble as many mechs as possible. Alright, 
so it doesn't look like there's turrets. Receiving you. Doesn't look like there's any turrets at all. Stabilizing. Oh, who did I just brace? Ah, damn. Oh well. Engaging jump jet. Firing jump jet. So I'm thinking once we get into the base. You can just run over, Heading and you guys are just going to sit here for now. We should get a set of reinforcements. Up, yeah, here they are. They normally show up from this direction. So, we're going to use the trees and this rock as cover. Maybe I'll leave... I, got a sensor trace. I might move Hellburner back to the hill here and just use PPCs from distance. Maybe we can sucker them to come in and close. So there's three. Yeah, so here's my plan. There's four of them. There's a heavy mech? Or a heavy vehicle, probably. Okay, so let's get Weasel here. Get behind the buildings. Gonna brace. Ripley. What do we got? A spider. Okay. Thinking. Receiving you. you got four mediums. Can we go in the water here anywhere and get... Still in range? Not optimal range though. Here's a little better. Still the same. So I'm just going to move into the water. It's not going to give us as much evasion, but it's going to save a little bit of heat. I know we're in a cold environment, but this uh, Jenner runs really hot. We're going to fire everything on this guy. Let's hope that being in the water affords us enough protection from these guys seeing us. So medium laser, two, SR, uh, two LRM5s probably, it's probably a, a locust. Um, let's get ourselves. Um, here I think. Gonna fire on this guy, really low chance to hit. Alright, so our Vindicator is not gonna move. But we're going to reserve. What is this guy? I don't know yet. We're going to reserve. I want to see what this heavy vehicle is first. I'm assuming it's a vehicle. It might be a mech, but we're not playing Rotex, so it's probably not. Hmm, Bulldog or something? I don't know. They've blown past my armor. Yeah, I saw that. we got to get you some more armor. Uh, we're going to walk over to the trees here. I know I wasn't going to move, but I want to get in the trees. Let's fire on this guy. So, somebody's not having a good day. Okay, so they're going to go first. The spider's probably moving first, yeah. Alright, so Ripley's got to move. So we've got 36 in the leg. So we're going to jump over here. We're going to be able to see what this vehicle is, but I want to attack this spider again. So what do, oh, this is a Locust Dam, yeah. So we're going to fire on this guy. I know the armor was stripped on the other side, but we got to shoot on him. Comes the Locust. Yeah, I saw it with that attack coming. Okay, so we're going to move our Spider up now. Yeah, Commander. Um, I want to find out what these guys are. So I am going to take the chance and move my spider in over here. Yeah. Going to have good evasion. Um, what do we got here? We got a striker. Mm, not bad. And a galleon. 
So we should be able to kill the galleon with a hit to the side. So let's fire on that. That should do it. Nope. Wow. How much has it got left? Did I get the turret? No, I got the side. Five left. Huh. Okay. Um. Hellburner? Let's attack since we can fire on just about anybody now. 75% with that guy. 80% and 75. Let's use the PPC on this. And if we hit the front, it should do it, I think. PPCs do 50 damage, right? Yeah. Let's just fire on this guy, see if we can finish him up before he shoots. Okay, nice. Vehicle trashed. So the galleon's gonna go. We're gonna roast him. Yeah, I knew you were gonna shoot on him. That's why we didn't move. As long as they're not shooting on the Jenner. That's the point. Alright, so... Let's do... Can't get to where we want to get. Um, let's go after the spider. Maybe we can clean him up before the next turn. So we're going to fire on him. We're not even going to move. So left leg destroyed. There's the knockdown. Okay. So, yeah, Locus has got to go first. He's going to go on a target that's easy to hit. Yep. Wow. Dude, you stink. Okay, so... Ripley. Let's get over here. If we do this right, we might be able to get everybody this turn. So let's see what we got here. 27, 14. Let's shoot for this torso. And leave the SRM and a medium laser off and fire. Okay. So he's got two pilot injuries now. Some heavy damage. Let's get Weasel over here. And we're going to fire on this guy and we're going to shoot for the other torso. Now let's see how you handle this. Ah, got the CT. Oh well. Can't have everything. Still have relatively inexperienced pilots, so that's kind of uh, up, kind of a, a drawback a little bit. But we're going to back up just in case we don't kill this galleon, and we're going to shoot the galleon firing. In all okay, we got the galleon. Now all we need is a lucky hit from the vindicator, and we can clean this sucker up. So let's do. Hmm. Let's try for a precision strike on this guy's head and see if we get lucky. Wow, we got the, got the CT. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Well, we were able to clean him up in one turn, just as I predicted, but it wasn't exactly like I was, I was hoping on. Even if we hadn't killed him, though, um, he would have been pushed back a turn and we'd have three guys going. So, you know, we would have finished him up the following turn. Let's just jump over here. And yeah, we can just brace with everybody else. And that should be it. So that was two quick missions. Now we can leave this planet. That's nice to it's nice to play kind of like easy missions after playing Rogue Tech, because it's like now you feel like you, you feel like the champion. It's like that study they did with uh, people who they got a couple college students in playing Monopoly and you know, one of them was only allowed to roll one dice and the other one was allowed to roll two and one started off with half the amount of money. The other one started off with full money, and the guy who was winning uh, obviously was the person that was uh, had the advantage. And after a while, the person felt like the reason why they were winning was because they were just better at the game, not because not because they had everything stacked in their advantage. So right now, I just feel like I'm better at the game, even though I'm not. Oh, we got everything. Excellent. Anyway, that being said, that wasn't too bad today. We're going to figure out what planet we're going to go to. 
but we'll have to figure out how long it's going to take to get there because I want to re um, re outfit some of the mechs. I think the I mean they're doing okay the way they're set up right now. So let's have a look at the mech bay first and foremost. So the Jenner needs to be repaired. So let's do that. And the commando, 25 ton commando. I mean. It's got a large SRM2 medium laser. It's, I mean, it's pretty well outfitted. Can't really do much with our spider. I mean, we could pull some jump jets off and put some armor on it, but I don't think we really need to. And the Panther, you know, I think we're going to leave our layout the way we have it right now. Just go with the stock layout. I know I changed them up last time. Um, actually, let's have a look at the Vindicator. I think I want to make him the long range build. So, there's a way we can do that. Jump jets are coming in handy. So, we'll leave those in. What's our heat sinking at right now? Yeah, not that great. I could pull out the medium laser, the LRM-5, and the jump jets and put an LRM-10 in. That will give us a little bit more long range punch and PPC in an LRM-10. And just stay back and fire. That way I don't need to increase the armor all that much. You can just stand back and shoot. I'm wondering if that's the way to go with this guy. Uh, you did it on the Panthers before. So let's do this. And do this. I'm going to take a couple of these off the back and go here and here. Take the medium. The jumpies. And the LRM-5. Move the LRM ammo into the leg and put an LRM 10 in. I mean, no, I think a better idea would be to put a second LRM 5 in. Oh, we can't, right, because we've only got one hard point. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So we've got 12 turns of firing. Um, unfortunately, there's no preci precision ammo or anything here. The small laser... Do we really need it for point defense? It's half a ton. We could take it off. What's the heat sinking doing right now? Pretty darn good. We could pull the small laser and add half a ton of armor. Um, is there anything else we can get for half a ton? I don't think so. Nothing really. So, I mean, we could put a jump jack back in. I'm thinking maybe that's what we're going to do. We'll take this out. We'll leave the one jump jet in the center. Just in case we need to jump down a hill. Something along that line. Just leave it for a little bit more mobility. What do we have here now? We can take... You know what? Let's do this. Let's leave one of the heat sinks out and put the medium laser back in. I want to move the heat sinks around a little bit too. we got some time to, uh, to uh, refit these things. I just want to move some of these around just so that we're a little better off, I think, in case we get hit. Something like that. It's 10 days. Not that bad. So we're going to confirm that. Right. I think okay. that's probably a little better loadout. Commander we're going to leave for now. doesn't have any jump jets, but I'm okay with that. Uh, he's a little bit heavier of a hitter. Let's actually have a look at him here. Um, we could take out the SRM. Heat efficiency is pretty good right now. If we pull the SRM2 out... We could beef the armor up and replace it with a medium laser if we've got the hard point. We do. So we can do that. Let's go max armor. Okay, so we won't be able to get the entire thing maxed out. So let's leave that for now. Well, yeah, let's just leave him for now. Spider, I think we're still good with the spider. Panther, Panther's still good. Um, don't think there's anything I want to do here. It's got a lot of laser points on here. I mean, we could pull out the SRM4 and go with lasers. PPC is, what's the heat on this? 35, it's really heat inefficient. Um, we could dial back the PPC though. And I mean, we could go, since this guy is going to be relatively close range, 
and then we can add some heat sinks here we can buy a couple more I think we want to do that so let's buy a couple more heat sinks okay so this is gonna be I mean we're not gonna be buying stuff all the time um, but we do need to do that kind of now so it's not really that heat efficient this is kind of tricked out like the Jenner now um, I wonder if we should pull out the SRM4 though if we're gonna if we're gonna be punching above our weight I think survivability is better way to go so we have half a ton left and there's nothing we can put in for half a ton one more jump jet we can't get another jump jet in I've already got four um, we could go under tonned I mean the other way the other thing to do would be to put what do we got here we're heat perfect now heat neutral so let's just add the back armor back on this and we'll go in like this I mean, know we're under tonned but that's that's fine that's gonna be 11 days though um, that means 21 days of traveling it's almost the it will be almost the end of the month but I think this is what we want to do right so 22 days of repairs 23 days till the financial report I think we're, that's good let's have a look now where our next contract is so I think we're gonna take this one I don't think we're ready for a potential of a full medium lance just yet so I think we're gonna take the assassinate mission um, it's a 12-day journey it's the same planet so we'll take this one here I'm gonna negotiate this I'm gonna go full salvage and we will accept this and we'll travel there yeah I love the new animations gotta say they did such a really good job with them okay so once we get there and we get our mechs back and running let's have a look at the engineering ship upgrades we are going to purchase um, the training module first 90,000 let's get that going definitely want to get more experience on my pilots as soon as possible so once we get there uh, we'll wait for our, the time to run out on repairing our mechs check the store once we get there too there might be something that we like and we'll also have an opportunity to get another um, Argo upgrade, so we'll have to have a look at that. Most likely I'm going to choose, look at this, new animations. Uh, most likely I'm going to choose the one that's going to give us the best tech points. Uh, I want to be down as little as possible. Okay, we all know about the flashpoints, thank you. And one more day. Oh, let's keep her working at it and see what we can get from the auto cannon. Hey, we've got an AC5+, Plus, which is... Yeah, 25% crit, no big deal. We don't really have anyone that can use that thing right now anyway, so... Alright, let's... Uh, shoot, I did not mean to do that. Let's go back. Let's not proceed. I don't think we can even check the store until... Uh, oh, we can. Okay. So they got large... Centurion parts. Um, large lasers that's about it so let's wait this to our till our Panthers back um, and let's go to ship upgrades we are gonna choose I mean I could go down with the commando it's a one skull mission I think we'll probably be okay with the commando so I think that's what we'll do for next time so repair and refit plus two tech points for automation plus two tech points for the refit harness and plus two tech points for repair scaffolding and the second bay is 900,000 which we don't have which is plus three points and more max but we don't need that just yet recreation plus one morale don't need that just yet either so let's go with uh, should we go with the most costly let's not yet let's go with the cheaper one that takes the least amount of time these are both the same refit harness let's do that Actually, let's take the repair scaffolding and purchase that. 
Okay, cool. So, yeah, when we come back next time, we're going to drop with our Lance as it is. We do have that commando which we can use, so, I mean, it's not a replacement for this Panther now, but still, uh, it, I think it'll function adequately for what we need to do. Yeah, so and if you liked the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And if you haven't checked out my other series, uh, I've got a couple of Rotex series going on right now, Funky Steve's Medinas and Cold Forged. Um, please check them out on my channel. Um, they're a lot more difficult than this one is. So yeah, I'll talk to you all next time and we'll see you later.